Hey guys, it's Kimmy. Welcome back. Um, today is going to be something a little bit different. I'm not going to be singing a, a song. I'm going to be showing you some of my, um, I'm going to be sharing some other forms of art that I do. And not just the singing form. I actually do love art. I draw and paint and color and everything pretty much along that line. It's very relaxing and I think I'm somewhat not terrible at drawing. So I really in enjoy it. So I thought what if I share my if I share my love for singing, I should probably share my love for this, for um, regular art. So, hope you like it, and here I go. So, this is my first drawing that I ever did in my sketchbook. This is a buffalo to represent our school mascot at the Village of Charter. Um, so, I just drew a buffalo, and I think it turned out pretty good. Um, truthfully, I use instructional. Um, booklets because I would never be able to do something this good on my own because I'm not that creative. Um, so yeah, I've had the help of many instructional booklets. Um, this one I believe is just like um, animals and then I also have like a baby animal one and then another animal one and then uh, a fairy one which um, I use to draw this. This is my Rose Fairy, if you can't see the title. Um, so yeah, just a fairy with a very poofy dress, and she's holding a rose, and she's smelling it, and she enjoys the smell. So I'm just going to skip ahead a few, so you don't see some of my other really bad ones. Okay, I skipped at least. 10 pages, but you wouldn't want to see them anyway. <laughs> this is one that I really think it turned out good, um, except the only thing that I don't like about this drawing is that the eyes. The eyes are good, except they look really creepy. I mean, some people, like my mom, um, she's like, no, it looks fine. It looks, the cat looks fine. She just, it just looks like a regular cat. And I'm like, Mom, do you not feel those eyes staring at you? I mean, just look at them. Do you not feel like that cat has some revenge to do? It looks like that cat wants to hurt someone. So, yeah, other than that, I think it turned out okay. I like the position and I like how detailed it is. So, yeah, the position turned out good. And I had a lot of help on this. Not help as in they drew it for me, but help as in um, instructional help. Because no one can draw it for me. They're like, it's your drawing. You have to be the one to draw it. And I'm like, why? So, yeah, I also have one more that I'm working on. This is... Just one that's not finished yet. It's a butterfly and not much explaining to do on that one. But yeah, that, those are all the drawings in that sketchbook. And then I did this one earlier, not too long ago actually. Um, it's supposed to be kind of like a rainbow thing. I was going to make it like a sun, but um, I started off with green, so obviously it wasn't going to be a sun. So yeah, I just kind of made it into like a a rainbow blended thing and it's just like a rainbow and then these little like streaks right here are the rain and I don't know if you can see this but it says you can't um you can't have a rainbow without a little bit of rain so meaning that you can't have something good and beautiful in your life unless there's something that something like hard and Something that makes life a little bit complicated. So, so true. It's, it kind of reminds me of the saying, you can't have a hur. There's always a rainbow after a hurricane, meaning there's something good. Something good comes out of something that's really hurtful or something that's hard in life. 
So, yeah, those are some of the drawings that I, that I do, that I've done. Um, this is just something that I painted. That's pretty much, I didn't, I didn't draw this. I just painted it for my neighbor that starts with E. Um, these are just oil pastels. Um, I use this to draw that rainbow. I use these pastels. And then my regular chalk pastels. And then for the E, I used acrylic paint. There's 18 in here. I do acrylic paints. Um, these are just regular, a bunch of regular Crayola colored pencils. I have crayons here. So those are my acrylic paints. And then I have a bunch more acrylic paints. I have 12 more. So these are 12 more acrylic paints that I have. And then I have 12 um, watercolor paints. And then I have 12 acrylic paints. 12 more acrylic paints. So that's that. And then I have 12 more watercolor paints. So yeah, I'm never running out of paints, pretty much. And then these, so yeah, these are my paintbrushes. Um, these are all my paintbrushes. And then those are like white things, they're just like white things. They're sculpting tools. So like for canvases and stuff, but I don't need to use them anytime soon because I'm afraid to use a canvas because I'm not that good of a painter to even use a canvas. But it's okay because I still enjoy doing it and making fun of the drawings that did not turn out very well. Um, these are just regular watercolor pencils. So it's pretty much like watercolor paint, but you just reg regular like color it like a regular pencil and then you put water on it and then boom, it turns into something like this. This, I just use a bunch of regular colors, and it turned into like kind of like a sunset thing. And I liked how it turned out. I think it turned out really pretty, because I love, I love how just like regular pencils turned into this, like putting just a little bit of water on it turned into something like that. And then this, I just used my regular pastels I showed you earlier. Um, this is just another a butterfly that I that I did with my watercolor pencils, and then this I just painted with my with my acrylic paints. Um, so I do think I can draw. I do think I can. Everyone can. Whether or not it's good is deciphered on what I'm drawing. Like, um, between the buffalo and that butterfly that I showed you, um, I mean, if I, the buffalo turned out really good because I had instructions on how to do it. The butterfly, I did not. I just, but, um, I do love to draw, and that's pretty much the only reason why I do it. And of course, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of other people that are way better drawers than me, including my cousin Elizabeth. Um, she drew this at Christmas time using all these like really cool geometric shapes. Like for the sun, she used triangles, and then she left like squiggly lines for the clouds, and then for like the grass and valleys, she used like all these like box type lines. So yeah, I really liked how that turned out, and I've kept it ever since. Um, so yeah, I really, I really like that. And I tried copying it, and I even had it in the same, I had it in this, I had this, I was even tracing it, and it didn't turn out that good. But it's okay. And then this... It's just more art stuff that I have. This is crayons, more and more crayons, more colored pencils, and then my markers. So like miniature markers, and then like big, regular, 
and crayon markers. And these are all, and it's just in this really cute um, minion case. So I got that for Christmas, I think like a year or two ago. So I like, I like that. I haven't really used it that much though. Um, last, lastly, this is a wall that I'm decorating. Um, I'm calling it my musical favorites. If you can see that. Can you see that? Uh, yeah, so, my musical favorites. Let me just get closer. Um, I call it my musical favorites because, see, this, these people are the reasons that I love to sing. Um, Bruno Mars, obviously you know I love him because, um, I sang Just the Way You Are, and I'll be pro probably doing Count On Me and Grenade. So yeah, I'll do a lot more songs by him sooner or later. And then Little Mix, I just now fell in love with. Um, they have really good, catchy music. Um, I don't know if I'll do any of their songs, but we'll see. And then One Direction, my all-time favorite boy band. Um, I love so much. And I, um, I'll probably do a lot of music by them later on. Because I know every single one of their songs on every single one of their albums. And I, and I own every single one of their albums, so... It's pretty likely that I'll do some music by them. And then later on, I'll probably add some more artists on the female side, like um, Adele, um, Miley Cyrus, possibly Demi Lovato. Oh, Carrie Underwood, too. I love her. Um, then Taylor Swift. And then if I even have room for all those people. So... That, thank you for watching this video. I know it was a lot longer than um, most of, than any of my videos, probably even combined. Um, but yeah, so if you watched this whole thing through, thank you very much. You are very brave. Um, so yes, thank you again for watching the video. I hope you liked what you saw. I hope you enjoyed um, seeing my art. Um, I hope you found it somewhat good. If you did, um, great. That's what I'm going for. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching once again. Um, if you like this video, if you like these kind of videos better than me singing, I could do, like, maybe, like, some room tours or something like that. I've seen those on YouTube. Um, maybe I could... In I'll probably do like a sequel to more art because I do have another sketchbook somewhere. I just don't know where it is. So yeah, and I'll also be able to finish the wall. So I'll be able to show that too. So more I'll be adding to this little art collection. So if you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.